how big is your 12 volt system or how big you want your 12 volt system to be your off-grid solar system or for your RV motorhome or just your tiny house live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA if you're just tuning in please like subscribe and share so this is what I have here guys this is a big system let's check it out if you haven't seen a big 12 volt system a mighty and powerful here we go well JW Solar USA has been in this uh, project for quite a while trying to put systems together or trying to show people how you can build a 12 volt solar system for your motorhome for your home for your tiny house for your cabin for your off-grid solar system or just a hobby or emergency uh, system live here so this is what I did you guys have seen series of videos of this if you haven't seen these videos I'll encourage you to go back to my playlist and check on the uh, listing that says 12 volt or portable 12 volt solar system or you can search it on Google J, uh, 12 volt solar system by JW Solar USA or you can go about and say on the search engine of YouTube and, and say 12 volt solar system by JW Solar USA or Magnum Magnusine 12 volt solar system by JW Solar USA this is all we have right now guys so you see this system you're gonna say hey JW why you have a lot of inverters 12 volt I like to play around with systems I like to build portable system I'm not a guy that really into big things you know um, if I don't have to I'm not gonna even do it but this is what I've, I've been doing guys I make sure I want to create the most big uh, the, the, if it's small and portable but it's gonna be the most powerful 12 volt system out there R reliable name brand and uh, a company that stands for their reputation and a system that's gonna run you for quite a long time without no hustle no pain no suffering so this is what I've done guys you've seen a lot of these this is uh, the first one I got it comes with a GFCI uh, 120 volt solar uh, 220 volt um, outlet GFCI so you can push the reset button there it's 120 volt it's a thousand watt inverter 120 volt this is gonna be the second one here and uh, a 12 volt 120, 20, 120 volt AC and uh, all of them now put in one single file or single board total this is the last one so guys um, this is what I've, I've been doing I've been playing with so this one you can go back here what Magnum uh, you can see you have um, here what it is here there's a connect connection here for the uh, the temperature sensor and the remote so what I'm gonna do here probably you guys wondering what I'm doing how am I gonna control all the system together and I'm gonna use one of them as the master remote just one remote I'm gonna be using into this one old system which I'm gonna be showing you soon and uh, the rest of them I just have to program them and they all follow or I can just use one of them for charging guys this is an uh, inverter chargers okay they are designed to um, run inverter to invert and to charge as well so each of these uh, inverters you will see the specs of the uh, the input which is a hundred and hundred and thirty three 
amp DC okay and look at that out 120 volt AC at 60 Hertz with a 12.6 volt so this is a distortion it's five percent so guys look at the uh, the charge in here so this guy can charge AC input 120 volts 60 Hertz AC input see that at 20 amp AC so each inverter is putting a 20 amp AC can use up to a 7 amps AC the power factor is a 95 so let me show you see the same thing over here right so and these are the year you can see is a 2000 2018 okay look at this one this is a 2008 all right and this one is a 2015 see that so guys they're all putting a 20 amp charging capability if I connect all these and put them in the, that string they can charge up to about 60 amps simultaneously but I can able to assign one of them to just charge the battery continuously because what I've done I've done some tests when you have them connected like two of them to charge the battery simultaneously one is gonna back off because it seems it depends I think because of the battery bank if your battery bank is bigger I think if your battery bank is bigger I think you can able to charge like a one old Nissan Leaf battery bank this thing can run continuously putting that 20 amps okay and uh, or um, all these guys together can do that but the thing you guys are gonna be asking me J but JW are this one stackable or parallelable can you parallel them or stack them absolutely not this is the problem this is the problem this is what Magnum did so you cannot do that into this ones so there comes a problem if people can say it's not can you do this on 120 volt um, uh, 240 volt nope no 220 for these guys at all no 220 and uh, so what a bummer yeah I hear you this is what um, people will say and guys that's why I end up having three of them they can do whatever they're gonna do so I did a demonstration here I did some il uh, illustration one time when I have um, see this one comes with this that's the main kit this one comes with that so GFCI if I want to so um, you can wire this thing directly to your um, uh, your panel your breaker panel same as this one you can do this one as well by removing this plate but if you remove this plate now this kit right here um, you're gonna be without um, a panel or cover like this so you've seen the videos what I did before um, I end up not to do this here if you see the second panel this one have a GFCI and what I did for this one here the third one I converted which is supposed to go to the panel the breaker panel right here is the input is input is the output it comes to another in here I, I, I custom made at one of my local store uh, Menards and pick up that thing and design it this way so this one's outlet is now here I can use it like external 
so I can able to do the same thing here so some people think this is a redundant okay yeah I'm making a redundant system because I can able to run because since it's not solid 3,000 watt um, inverter total or 2500 watts inverter total or any inverter whatever 1000 I can run them I can use certain loads divide the cabin or the, the bus or the the uh, my shed or my house so this one can load, run probably the laundry it depends what the laundry machine is taking which is cheap uh, it's really low it's not gonna run over 400 I've tested that before go back to my play playlist you see it and uh, you can put this other one maybe for the uh, lighting or the um, invert for the freezer or fridge because they don't put 1000 okay if you have a, a energy efficient one then you can use this probably for your well pump which um, can run not even a thousand watts it depends if you don't have a 240 uh, 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 well pump or well or whatever so a pressure water pressure thing so this is the system so I made a system in a different way that people can probably say I can't believe that is a waste of money or is a waste of time why did you just buy one inverter can do all things yes guys I understand but this is the way we do it here at the JW Solar USA we like to do things that people don't do we like to do things that people don't even thought about because this is what it is one of these inverter blow up or go bad I still have two inverters running I can wait till I replace this one or fix it I balance the loads over there okay and any one of them go bad they are not gonna go bad at the same time but coming to wire them I'll take all number two if you see the wire right here I think I have a two, oh, two hot cable you see it Royal excellent there two number two gauge wire two hot wire so I can able to do all this one and line them up here and put them into uh, a bus bar, a beefy bus bar that's going to be taking uh, approximately, uh, what, 60 amps is going to be taken out. If we can go back here into the specs and you can see um, what it what is taking, okay. Look at that. So, look at the amps input um, current. So, if you have a battery like over 133 amp DC, then you're fine. So, we can able to do that. It has a built in transformer in here, inverter charger, and uh, I already mount and suspend this thing to give it more airflow. This uh, one is loose, and I gotta tie this one in more airflow. And I uh, have bushing, so I have to tie this one. I forgot this one. And uh, I can hot wire this one right here. So this one doesn't, the power, the AC input is not here, and the AC output is supposed to be right there. So I have to do this and get another panel. So some people say, why can't you do like one, like two? It doesn't work that way because it doesn't have the uh, the 180 you know is out of phase or in phase or out of phase uh, system so this is what it is and um, I just want to show you some of the things I forgot about saying all the things and guys uh, it has uh, power you can turn the power on these ones here turn it off or on or you can use the remote have it in temperature sensors I do have it has a ground here ground log on all, all of them so these I can able to put all on a bus bar this wires and get things plugged differently how you want them to run you write this one run um, your TV your other electronics computer this one can run all your your washing machine and uh, other stuff in the house while this one probably gonna be running your well pump or any other equipment or tools that you want to do charging system 
whatever you want to do. So I try to create a system like this that's going to be really, really cool. And uh, um, for your off-grid solar system or off-grid solar power home or motor home and uh, or your tiny house. So guys, this is what it is. We've done it again. And uh, stay tuned as uh, this system is not going anywhere. And we can come back. And you guys saw the panels I'll be messing with. You saw the small 400 watts inverter I was running back there. So this is way too much to run even my 70 inches ultra high uh, definition television, 4K. So guys, this is what it is. Take care, love you guys all. Like and subscribe, Magnum sign Magnum um, 1210. There you go. See that? So here, right there, 1210. 1210. All right, over and out. Bye for now.